Hey everybody, it's White Wolf M here, and welcome back to another episode of Camp Everdarling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, so, as you saw in the last episode, we made some toasted marshmallows with Nicola, and we've now actually done two, that's right, two of the level two quests, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, we've done all th wait, hold on, we've done all three? Yeah, we've done all three! Oh my god, okay, right, okay. <laughs> So now we have these three quests to do, so let's have a little look at what we've got. So little camp shop, learn how to run your own shop, create a shop that's unique, have a fun environment for shoppers, make sure you have prices set and plenty of items on hand to make your customers happy, survivalist, have you attended survival class yet? Well you'll need to for this class, once you've completed the class head out into the woods and test your new skills, survive for three minecraft days or until you collect 64 rotten flesh and bone event planner we love a good party design plan organize and run a server-wide event competition for open for one month in the designated community lot space right okay i think what we're gonna do we are gonna do that but it's only open for a month well i say only it's open for a month which means i won't be able to post the end of that episode like the because that would be the final episode of the season and I can't post it because I, um obviously any judging or whatever I would imagine you guys would want in the same episode or something so I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a completely separate third quest and we will still do that one as a bonus episode um so the bonus episode will come out once everybody has done their competition I think maybe I don't know yet let's have a look we have a, there's a load of ones winner winner chicken dinner were you selected as a finalist in a community event claim your back wait what oh okay that's confusing making games create a mini game on the server for two to four players create a mystery game party game scavenger hunt no but that's already the same as an event bees knees Become a bee expert. Collect six to eight bees and breed them. Make sure to create a beautiful area for your bees to be happy. Aww. I like that one. Right, okay, I like that one a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the bees. And then we'll do a bonus event planner episode. So I think that will entitle two videos. Uh, I'm not sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. That'll have to be like a special or something. First of all, what we need to do is we need to just go back to camp and decide which of the other three non-bonus that we are going to do. I think it might be fun this episode to do the bees. I, th I really enjoy, I would really enjoy doing the bees. I'm gonna pop those back. There are, there are different kinds of bees because there were two mods with bees in. So now I'm a little bit confused. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go looking for a hive gonna break it and we're just we're just gonna see what happens honestly <laughs> oh dear pray for my poor little soul that is about to get stung to high heaven and let's pray we don't have an allergy this is a forest hive so we're gonna break this and we're gonna see what happens this is a um, from forestry so there are three mods with bees in oh oh dear it just completely what hold on Right. Oh dear, I don't know how you get the bees. Right, um, I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna quickly Google this. Right, so apparently you need a scoop. Some kind of scoop. This, you need, you need scoop. Break hives to collect bees. So we just need sticks and some wool. Oh god. Okay, it's dark. Um, I don't actually know whose that is. Um. Okay, we're gonna sleep. Oh, wow, that is so cool. Okay, well, we know what's going to be happening when... Let's just try and get back in one piece. And then we'll go and collect some wool from the sheep. Well, actually, I don't even know if you if you can get wool from those sheep. The Animania sheep. Oh, dear. I mean, realistically, the Rule Breaker one a couple of episodes ago that we were looking at... Like, I could have got that ages ago just from eating outside of the cafeteria. <laughs> okay, so, we needed some wool. I don't think I've got any webbing yet, which is, you know, that's fine. 
put my sticks back. Right, so what did I come here for? I don't actually know what I came here for. I need to go to the place where the wool is. The farm. Off we tottle. Oh god. Right, I hope you can get wool from them. Right, let's get up here. Leather, meat, eggs, milk, wool. Any wool? No. Shears. Okay, let's take some shears and see if we can shear them. <gasps> we can! Okay, we'll be alright. I'll probably need to make like maybe a couple of these. Wait, where's my sticks? Okay, I don't seem to have any sticks on me. Okay, so you get two left after that. Great. Mm, so we have the scoop. <laughs> that was a terrible, terrible idea. Right, so we've got our scoopy scoop. Now we need to just go looking for some bees again. So let's hope and pray that it'll work this time. I should have just assumed that it was go wasn't going to work. Oh, right. We found one. It's behind. Well, oh. Oh, dear. They can't hurt me when I'm in the water. Ha, ha, ha. Um, yes. Meadows drone and Meadows princess. Awesome. Right, can we get them from over here You've just got to keep your distance when you do it so we've got technically technically we've got two out of our four to six but I really like the idea of getting multiple species hold on so we need to look at oh these are queens okay so we've got no prince like we've got no queens we've just got princesses pristine stock what? Ignoble stock. What is that supposed to mean? I'm very confused. Demonic princess. Where does this come from? Hello? <laughs> okay, so we've got forest, meadows, okay. Common. Oh, rude. Cultivated. Where are all the princesses from? Ooh, okay, right, I'm just gonna ex I'm just gonna say this. There are six naturally occurring species, forest, meadows, modest, tropical, wintry, and marshy. Meadow bees infest large open grasslands, um, is closely related to the forest bee, both of these bees are docile. From these bees and other mundane species, um, you can breed them and get, like, other breeds. Oh my god! Wow! Okay, bees are fascinating as heck! So we just need to remember that, and we need to find more species of bee. There, please. I'm on a bee hunt! Bees, show yourself to me. That's, um... Yeah, how you doing? Did you just make a baby? <laughs> oh, you scared me. There's some bees here. I want to get them. It's a marshy hive. Okay, so this is great. We've got the marshy bees. That's meadow bees. We don't want meadow bees. We want... We want some flipping forest bees. I don't want your marshy hives. That's a bear, that's a bear, that's a bear! <laughs> oh dear. A camper! Oh my god! <gasps> <laughs> what on earth? Okay, fur boots, fur tunic, fur cap, pouch. I mean, you're a bit, you're a bit useless. I could make all of that. I mean, if I attack a couple of bears, I'm more likely to get bear fur than a mob. <laughs> right, guys. So we're finally back on. I've been accidentally right-clicking flowers when I've been trying to eat. We finally found a forestry forest hive. But we've got a forest princess and a forest drone. So now we've got three. Technically, we only need four, but I would like to breed and see if we can get any of the other species. But there is also a non-forestry related beehive here. And I just thought it might be fun for us to get to it. Oh, that would have been great. So we've got your general Pam's Harvest Crust queen bee now. Now I know how to run the bees with this mod. But that's it. I don't know how to I don't know how to do any of the forestry related ones. So I'd like to see if we can get one more of the 
forestry forest bees probably not seems as where we've just ended up and it seems to only be marsh bees but we'll give it a try nonetheless i found a village would you look at that i found myself a blooming village oh a squid pet i want an emerald i'll bloom in a, i'll bloom in while i have that i don't really need a, a squid pet but, but thank you for your offering yes right we got our last one Oh dear, no matter. There is one here also. Wait, you're not supposed to be able to get me in the water. You guys suck. I'm finding so many now. It's not fair. Right, guys. So we're currently in a tiger. Oh, at last. Right, so I read online that if you go into a tiger, you are more than likely going to find a wintry hive. Which is what we were after. There we go. And then the other one's over there, but we kind of need to get some more health before we can get that one. Otherwise, we will die. And I'm not about to lose 22 levels, if I'm going to be brutally honest. Ah. Okay, I got, I got it. Oh my gosh, frozen comb. <gasps> okay, but we've only got one drone. We need another drone. Is there any more wintry hives around here? Cool, blimey, there's a lot of campers though. We've got three princesses now. Now the issue is here, guys, is there is one last common species and we need a desert for that. So I will see you as soon as I have found a desert. That's a very pretty looking building. I wonder what that is. Wait. Oh my god, those are bee houses? <gasps> They've got bees inside. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is there... Well, you're a messy, sir. Um, hill cherry sapling, honeycombs, princess, unlit candle, bee smoker, grafter. Right, I don't know what any of that is, but I'm taking it all. Um, okay, I seem to have no more food either. I'm going to take all these unlit candles. Don't mind me. And uh, I'm going to take this forest princess. Hold on. Stick me sticks in there. Me unlit candles. Me diamond and me emerald. Stick me honeycomb to one side. Stick those two bees in there as well, by the look of it. Um, I kind of want to take... Looks like we've got even more bees than... <gasps> oh my god, these are queens! We've got queens now, guys! <gasps> well, sir... Oh, and there's loads of flowers here too. That would make sense because because they get the nectar from flowers. And oh, oh, you guys, I'm feeling real good now. I still need to find a beehive area. Thingy bees. Oh my god, look at all these flowers. Oh, this is literally a beautiful sunflower plains. This is so pretty. Oh my god, that's still irrelevant. We still need a desert! Right, everybody. So guess who finally found a desert? Oh! And is literally about to die because she's got no food. This is great. Oh, God. Okay. Now I'm worried. Um, do I have any food in my backpack? Yes. Yes, I do. I have bread. Let's get our health up a bit more. Okay, we can take this on now. Oh, wrong one! Wrong one! Mission abort! Oh, down. Well, the good news is, um, <laughs> the good news is you don't lose anything when you die. So I guess, I guess that's something. All right, I'm back. Parched comb. Oh, it's so cool how there are different combs for like different places. We only got a princess. Oh no, we did get a drone. I'd really like to try and get some more. I will have to go onto the journey map to get rid of that waypoint because uh <laughs> we're gonna pretend that didn't happen so is that one over there no it's not that's a drop and off okay so we've got two of them i would prefer a third after the struggle i had to find a desert but what am i even in oh i'm in a wasteland 
So why are they spawning in a wasteland and not in a desert? That makes complete sense. Let's just have a mooch. See if we can find one more. That is some quicksand right there. And if we can't... Oh! I see you! I see you! Oh! Okay, I need space for the princess! Yay! Right, okay. Now... Now we need to get home. Right, so we're back here. And I'm thinking of adding a bee place completely separate for me, for my little bee shop. <laughs> Collect six to eight bees, okay? Oh dear, I've got... Okay, it's fine. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. It's gonna be alright. And breathe them. Make sure to create a beautiful area for your bees to be happy. Because there will be other people that wanna do the challenge. This is hmm. This is what I'm thinking. But I still like the idea of making a bee shop. You know what I mean? I think it might be fun. Six to eight bees and breathe them. That's all it said. It didn't say about collecting any honey or anything like that. So I'm going to look at our journey map and see if there's an area nearby that would be good to put the bees in. That's not going to be too obvious of a place. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to be naughty. We're going to pick a location. Then we're going to go into creative mode and add some... Oh! So these are mine and Sabra's huts because we have the purple shade. How cool is that just for the... I made, made all this! I made this! All of this, it's fantastic. All right, so I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll add like a little teleport thing, like in the corner here. I think it'd be a really good idea to do it where the farm is. Um, so we're just gonna run over there and do that. I might chart off a little area for everybody to do bees as well there, which is why I've just gone into creative mode because I think it would be a lot easier for me to do that. Guys, there's already a bee area. I was under the impression that there was no bee area. Well, I'm gonna build a little shack here regardless. I think we should add two zones, like two bee zones. I have just finished making the little bee area. Obviously there are no bees yet because this is for when everybody else comes in. I know on that it says Sabra and Emily, um, but over here in this space that I mentioned before, I'm gonna make apart for the bees just for me because obviously I said I wanted to make a bee shop um, and obviously we've got all the tools and stuff there for people which is 100% fine that's there for people to have fun with or to do as part of their bee thing but I wanted a, a big bee place so obviously as you can see there's a huge lavender field here as well um, I think it's a trail ride for the horses there but I think I might pull far back, make a big B place on this bit. So that's what I'm going to make now. It's going to look exactly the same, just for the record. There will be like a little um, build as well for me, like a little shack. So there'll be a shack at the front and then storage place and then all the bees will be here. Right guys, so I've just finished the little house and what I'm going to do is I've come over here and I'm moving all of my stuff here's the cute little me one that i've made i was gonna add a path and i probably will it's just oh my god i've been doing this for over three hours and i just want to go home right okay so i'm not sure what we're actually meant to do but we've got a forest queen i think we put her there forest drone no flowers wait what does lavender not count oh dear Right, apparently, oh, apparently lavender doesn't count. I'm just putting down like a ton of flowers. I think that's everything that I can place down. So we need a modest drone and a modest princess. A marshy drone and a marshy princess. A wintry drone and a wintry princess. A meadows queen, a meadows drone. I don't know what we do with the princesses. I'll be 1000% honest. Oh, hold on. We just need the drone for that one. Right, so we've got the princesses. Too cold, too humid. Did he die? Oh, they bred with the drone and the drone made them into queens? Okay. Only jubilant bees will produce their specialty. Make sure to have them in their preferred climate. Yeah, that's fine. So they've made a honeycomb. Crossbreeding drones and princesses of different species may net you offspring with a... 
Ah, uh, okay. Right, hold on. There are flowers. Don't lie to me. I don't think they're going to work. Wait, hold on. Why did I put a modest drone and a modest... Okay, so they seem to be jungle flowers of ferns or vines. That's fine. He's dead. <laughs> Many different kinds of foods can be made from honey. That's fine. No flowers. But what do you need? I'm going to put them all in the middle. I don't care. It's going to be the same flower. Okay, this is great. They've produced a second honeycomb whilst they've not done anything. Have you done anything? No, you just stole my drone instead. Oh, blimey, they're working diligently. There we go, there's a little honey sign there. Place to be. M's place to be. Ha ha, ha ha, aren't I hilarious? Yes. Check on these bees. And we've got some... It did technically work. They seem to be doing alright. They've definitely bred. There's definitely been some babies. See? There's definitely been a common drone and a meadows drone. There's definitely been some babies. I have one million percent done this today. I'm sorry I've been in creative this whole time, but... It's one of those things that it was getting so infuriating. Oh my god, there's way too many chickens! I think because of the fact that I built something for everybody else to use, enjoy and experience, I think you can allow the fact that I went into creative this time. I know that I was messing with the bees and stuff, but they were already there and I, all I did was break them. So I just used the bees and moved them around. Because I am a camp counsellor, so I think I should be allowed to use those bees that we had already placed there and just alternate them. Do you know what I mean? It still gives a lot of opportunity for the campers to fix their, um, to do their quest. Now, I also realised I didn't actually do the last blue one. So let's do that and now we can add a red one in as well. Open these two chests. Blue. Red. And then close that and close that. Yay! Right, okay, sorry, I'm feeling very tired now. So, yeah, but I am so super happy and excited that we were able to get that done. So now we've literally only got two more quests, guys, until we're finished. I mean, I know we're going to do the event thing as well, obviously. But technically, two more episodes and it's all done. It's all finished. And that's a little bit insane to me. Um, that this series could essentially end just so quickly. It's mental. It's mad. It's, it's insane. So thank you all so much for joining me on this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to become part of the Warren Today, guys. And don't forget, it's nice to be nice. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye! <laughs>